All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, I am excited today to do more statistics. And if you remember a while ago, we introduced uh, this dispersion visualizer tool. And the idea is, is you can add together normally distributed variables, such as your rifle sucks, you suck at aiming, your ammo sucks, and this will draw them and it will create random errors based on these and add them together. And you can see, you know, we every time we get three lines that your rifle maybe sends it this way, but you aimed a little bit over to the other side and then your ammo sent it a little high in that way. And you can add these together. And if you just do a lot of them, eventually it starts to fill in this curve. So I wanna answer this question of how much aiming error do we have? And so we're gonna do an experiment we got my friend Nate. He's going to come shooting with us. He doesn't know what's going to happen. It's going to be a blind experiment where we're going to have him shoot a rifle at 10x zoom and then at 50x. And he doesn't know he's going to switch to 50x after his 10x. We're going to shoot um, five 10 shot groups and then we're going to come back and we're going to plug him into our other tool and do some stats on it. And we're going to see if we can fill in this, this question mark of how much aiming air do you have with a 10x scope? All right, we're out in the desert. It's a beautiful day, forecast of 103. We got Nate with us here today, and we're asking him to do an experiment, and we're not telling him what it is because it's a blind experiment. So all we're doing is, here's this Nate. This is our favorite 22, and he's just gonna go and shoot four 10 shot groups, and then we'll go from there. Sounds good. Ready? Go for it. I think my grouping's about what an inch and a quarter. Uh, they're probably probably two inches with this ammo. Um, but you were looking through the scopes. You probably know better than me. <laughs> we just had Nate shoot four ten-shot groups with this gun, and the thing that he doesn't know that he's being experimented on is he shot them all at 10x. We're gonna crank our zoom up to 50 power now, mm. and we're gonna do the exact same thing, and we're gonna see how much it improves the groups. So we are here today to answer the hard questions, such as, was Mel Gibson right when he said, aim small, miss small? <laughs> aim small, miss small. Uh, so I'm holding the, the target shot at 10x zoom. I it's the, the 50. All right, what's your, what's your takeaway? Give us your best analysis. I mean, maybe it's just like a 10, 15% difference, but overall, yeah, I, I'd say the 50X is, has a minor improvement, I mean, comparatively, but overall, yeah, I'd say it's a, it's a little tighter. Yeah. yeah, so next we're gonna take pictures of these, do the aggregate groups in our group comparison software to see how much of a difference it actually made. Okay, so we're, we're back from shooting. We, we had neat shoot. We meant to do five 10 shot groups, but I didn't bring enough ammo, so we did four 10 shot groups. And now we're going to load them into our software. Taking a picture of both of these. And first thing to do is to go and set a scale. So I'm just going to go to the center dot and just set a three inch scale. Same on this one. Find our center dot. Three inch scale. All right, now the fun part. We got to click on all of our impacts. Okay, so we've gone through, we've clicked on all 40 impacts for each target, and we come down, see our scatter plot. Uh, they look about the same. Check our distribution, not normal as expected. We got 40 shots for each one, and our standard deviation on this one is 0.65 versus 0.56. So, so this one with the 10X had a much bigger standard deviation. And when we do our stats, which we're using the, the Man Whitney U test, we're finding that there is a significant difference. So statistically, there is a difference in shooting them, shooting between 10X and 50X. How much of a difference? Well, if, if you had no other error other than you're using a 10X scope, there's a surprisingly large error. It's 0.662 inches. 
So if you were shooting perfect gun, you know, if you uh, are doing a double blind test and you don't know any better, and it, it, the ammo is perfect, the rifle's perfect, but you just have a 10x scope, this is your average group size. Um, that's a lot bigger than expected. So, so what do we do with this number? So we have our standard deviation here, 0.324. So let's go and take that and we're gonna go to our dispersion visualizer and we're gonna try and fill this in and see how it goes. Um, so our, our 10X aiming error, uh, we've got 0.324. So we can just fill that one in wholesale. Uh, rifle inaccuracy, um, how, how are we gonna do that? Well, there is this wonderful book, Modern Advancements in Long Range Shooting, Volume 3, uh, by Brian Litz. And if we go into page 50, we're, we've got the Top Gun Theory, and he gives us a formula right here for predicting the precision of a gun. Uh, this is kind of meant more for center fire, but we're, we're going to use it anyway. Unfortunately, we didn't have a chronograph going at the time of this test. But in Brand's other book, Ballistic Performance Rifle Bolts, conveniently he has our ammunition in there. So we're going to plug this into his formula. So if we come here, his formula is 0 0.005 times the uh, kinetic energy or muzzle energy, which is in our case, 99 foot pounds divided by the rifle weight, which is uh, 10 um, plus 0 0.039. So if we add all this together, it equals 0 0.088. So this is our baseline precision. So this is saying we should shoot world record groups at 100 yards um, every single time. Obviously, we know that's not true because uh, it's a room, room fire, it's 22. They're, we know they're not that accurate. But let's just plug that in, so point, 0 0.088. So this is our, our how much the, the rifle is contributing to inaccuracy just due to the weight of the rifle and the energy it's expelling. We have our aiming error, muzzle velocity variation. If we just go to our ballistic calculator, I've already plugged in our muzzle velocity, our BC caliber, our weight, I set our zero range to two and our scope height to zero. Um, and when we run that, it tells us we're, we're dropping 16.3 inches. Uh, according to the book, our, our SD is eight, which means if I just change this by one standard deviation, resubmit it, our, our drop changed by 0.2 inches. So, so we're going to plug this in, 0 0.2 inches for our muzzle velocity variation. And then our ammo error, it just has to take up whatever's left. So I'm just going to plug in 0 0.5 because uh, I know that works well. So this is the tool that you have seen in our previous videos. It's going to just simulate adding all of these together. Um, if we just do 100,000, so if you shot a 100,000 round group, it might look something like this. Um, and our average five shot group is 1.4. Our standard deviation is 0.63. If we come back, um, yeah, so we got 0.65 here. Um, 0.63, that's pretty close. But the question is, if we remove our 10x aiming error, let's pretend by using 50x, that goes to zero. And we clear this, and rerun it. Now our standard deviation is 0 0.546, which uh, is not perfect, but it's a pretty close match. So that tells us this is actually a pretty good model. If we put this back to, what was that, 324? This is actually a pretty predictive model for our rimfire rifle. And that our biggest source of error is, surprisingly, our ammunition. And it accounts for an SD of about 0.5. Um, or adding about an inch to our group size at 100 yards. So, kind of cool stuff being able to assemble all these different statistics and put them together um, to be able to predict it, have a predictive model for the accuracy of our rifle. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest, I, this number is significantly bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's basically saying if your gun's perfect, you're shooting points, you know, between half and three quarter inch groups just by using 10X. Um, so thanks for joining us for some more science and statistics. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see our future videos.